right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So, we have Peyton here with his song called Drive Away. Very energetic song. Pretty easy to handle here when it comes to different chords there. And we're going to look at different um, strumming techniques here. So, yeah, let's go. First off, we need to have our capo set here on the first fret. And we have four different chords to learn here. So, let's start with those. We have the D here. So, Open D, 2nd G, 3rd B, and 2nd E. Yes, and then we have the A. So, open A, 2nd D, 2nd G, 2nd B, and open E. Then the E chord. So, open E string here, 2nd A, 2nd D, 1st G, open B and open E and the final chord will be F sharp minor so you need to bar all strings here on the second fret and the rest will be fourth here on the A string and fourth on the D string so yeah there's your four chord guys and this song starts with a verse and a pre-chorus and it's played in the same way and you only need to use two different chords here it goes from A to D, A to D, back and forth like this. Uh, so yeah, the strumming here is pretty straightforward. It's very fast strumming, and you can choose to make it in uh, yeah in two different ways. Um, the first way is just to make down strums here. So if you do that, it will be yeah 32 downs. Yeah, you heard right there. Pretty fast. So if I slow down, I can show how you, how I mean here. So Let's start with the A here. So this is the standard tempo. So 32 downs. Uh, and I'm not playing or strumming all strings here because it would be too noisy. So you just playing more on the bass middle strings here. If I can suggest something uh, so you don't let all these top strings down here ring out too much so more on a bass and middle strings here then to D and back to A yeah back and forth like this and the chord question will be A to D a to D and that is the verse and it's, it's played in the same way in the pre-chorus the same amount of time so A to D A to D so the verse and the pre-chorus is four times A to D okay uh, so that is the first way of playing the strumming here just downs but if you want to play a little bit more relaxed here you can use down and ups so it will be only 16 rounds because it's half amount of times there you're gonna strum so it will be instead of like this it will be very much easier than the first way um, even if the first way is more like this rock kind of style of playing this song and it's actually how a band would uh, play, I guess, um, this strumming here on the downs here. Uh, pretty classic uh, way of playing this uh, rock songs like this. So it's up to you if you choose to play 32 downs on each chord there or 16 down ups. So I can demonstrate a bit for you uh, the two different ways of playing. So, yeah. Yeah, so that is how you play the verse and the pre-chorus. And then for the chorus, it completely changes here. 
So uh, if we go through the different chord, chords here, it will be from D. And you're gonna play D two times, uh, so to speak. I'm gonna show you how pretty soon, but D two times, and then F sharp minor one time, and E one time. And if you see this as a chord progression, one round of this chord progression, then it will be two rounds in this course. So D, D, F sharp minor, and E, and D, D, F sharp minor, and E. So yeah, how do we play this? We need to first learn a strumming pattern here. So if I illustrate here with a D chord, it will be down, up, down, up, clap, down, up, down, up, down, clap. Okay, so let's start with that. So it will be down, up, down, up, and then comes the clap, and then down, up, down, up, down, clap. So together it sounds like this. A little bit slow. Okay, so that goes for all these chords the same way with the F sharp minor and the E. Down, up, down, up, clap, down, up, down, up, down, clap. Two down, sorry, two Ds. And one F sharp minor and one E. Yeah, and we're gonna add some uh, special thing here for this strumming. If you wish, you can use uh, different notes here because uh, they are actually in the song there. It's not necessary, you can just play the plain chords there, the D, the F sharp minor and E. But um, if you wanna really catch this um, this notes here, which I believe is um, pretty prominent in this song, yeah. Uh, I can show you what I mean and I can show you how, how, um, how it's played. So if you listen, I just alternate with some notes here. It will be like this. So you hear this and uh, yeah, it's played in, in the song. Huh? So it's actually uh, the G uh, note, uh, if you yeah, if you think away the capo here, it will be the G and the F, which is alternating when I'm playing the different chords here. So how do we get that? Okay, so when I'm playing the down, up, down, up, clap, I play for D, the full chord, with this G note here, in, built in into the D. So, down, up, down, up, clap, with the full chord, and on the last down, up, down, up, down, clap, I release this one. So, I get the F note here, from the capo. So, slowly. Okay, so two times when it comes to D, because we played D two rounds. Okay, the same way goes for the F sharp minor, but we need to adjust these notes. The chord is here. So again, the down, up, down, up clap, you will get the first note here. Uh, barred with your index finger, so you still have the the standard F sharp minor grip here when you're playing the first down up down up clap. So, and how do we get this note here, the F note? Yeah, you actually found it here on the second string, uh, the B string here on the fifth fret. So uh, you play the down up down up clap standard with the standard grip. And then on the down, up, down, up, down clap, you add this note, you release your little pinky here from the D string, 
you put it down here on the B string fifth fret and you try to kind of emphasize this one when you're strumming. It's impossible to only play this one, but it will be there if you if you try to be there with your right hand, so you will you will hear it. So it will sound like this. So Okay, so one round of that, and the E chord, what goes on there, yeah, it's the same there, but here you need to start to get this G note here, so you will have and hold the E grip here, the E chord, and you start with adding this little pinky here on the second fret uh, E string here, from the capo counter, so, down up, down up, clap with this note, and the last down up down up clap you just release this one to get the F note from the capo here okay so slowly it will be okay so I'm gonna play this slowly for you and then I'm gonna play one standard tempo for it so you can be able to uh, to follow first and then just listen how it sounds so yeah let's go standard yeah so that is one round and that goes on for two rounds in the chorus and uh, then the part between after the chorus then and into the second verse there's um, instrumental part there and it completely changes again because there's a melody going on uh, and it goes like this and so on it starts like this and it's based on the a chord i'm gonna show you pretty soon how it's played and then into the verse uh, we're gonna add a melody that's based on the d chord because remember uh, the verse and the pre-chorus is based upon the A and the D chord. And the D melody it sounds like this. Yeah. So let's start with this instrumental part right before the second verse there. Uh, it's based on A and you're going to play this uh, four times, four rounds. Uh, so you're going to play open A string. Then open E string, then third B string, and second B string. So four notes there. You're gonna play that four rounds before the verse start with this A melody as well. So. Um, That's the rhythm. So four times like this. And there starts the verse. And the verse starts in the same way. You're gonna play this melody again here for four rounds cause there's, uh, yeah, um, yeah, four rounds for each chord here when you play this melody part. So um, it starts with four rounds A and then comes the four rounds of D. And the D part is played like this. Okay, so that is open D string, then second B string, and then second G string. So when you play this, uh, the rhythm is you play fast between the almost right after comes the B string here. So open D and then right after comes the second B string and then a pause and then comes this second G string. So
yeah, so pretty easy there. Uh, so four rounds of A, four rounds of D, four rounds of A, and four rounds of D. And that's the verse. Then when it comes to the second pre-course, it's played in the same way as the first pre-course. Uh, all these strummings there, you can choose to make the, all the downs there, 32 downs or 16 down ups. Same way as the previous pre-course. And then comes the last course, and it's also played in the same way as the first course. The only difference is that it's played two times right after each other. So it will be D, D, F sharp minor, E, D, D, F sharp minor, E, and that's times two. So that pretty much covers this song, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Pretty fun song to play, and uh, when you get it, you really get it. It's not that hard, hard in the beginning perhaps, to get this strumming. In my opinion, that's the hard part, actually, to nail it one. Uh, the rest is, yeah, just a little practice, and then let's go. Now, um, if you want to be a member of this family, I just want to give you this heads up. Be a subscriber and uh, yeah i appreciate that much so i hope you you can do that for me and uh, i will give back to you as much as possible that's all for this time guys don't forget play tune